Hello, Brady Kelly here with Get Tech Savvy at GetTechSavvyNow.com. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about web hosts. What web hosts are, why you need one, how does it relate to you and your business. So first off, I want you to pay attention to this website here. This is my website um, I've actually built. And, oh, isn't it so pretty? Um, <laughs> anyways, the reason why I want you to pay attention to this is because this website is actually hosted by somebody else. I've actually I'm paying somebody to host my website. Now I've built my website myself, but all the files such as this image right here, all these buttons, the layout, the actual code behind how this all works is all stored on a computer or a server somewhere else. And I'm paying those people to host it and they're they're providing access to the internet so that people when they type in get tech savvy now Dot com, they can come and see this website, interact with it, and, and receive the information that's on it. So web hosting is a very, very important part of getting a website up. You need to know what a web host is, and you need to know the difference between what web hosts, what different web hosting uh, services offer. So I want to talk about a few different types of web hosting. The first I want to talk about is free web hosting, and the second I want to talk about is paid web hosting. So free web hosting um, is how it sounds, it's free web hosting. You can set up a web page for free. Um, sites like Wix.com uh, offer free sites, and they're actually really nice looking sites. They look really, really nice. For example, let's look at this one. Like a construction industri uh, industrial type website. Uh, they're very nice looking, and they're very easy to set up. Um, so I think, I think Wix has quite a few templates that you can choose from, and you can start for free. And you can get your site set up basically in, in an hour, like in less than an hour, you can get your site set up, especially if you have the content ready for it and the pictures and whatnot. Um, also, there's another service called Weebly that allows you to set up a free site. Watch how you can create a free website. Um, so that you're able to, you know, set up your own website really, really quickly for free. And uh, they, they can look really, really nice too. Um, and, and so a lot of people go this direction. However, um, there's some pitfalls that I'm going to share with you a little bit later after I talk about paid hosting and what it is uh, and things that I want you to pay attention to because this decision right here can be um, the difference between a lot of headache and a smooth coast through <laughs> getting your business online and you having a presence online. So uh, first of all, I want to talk about paid hosting before I go into those pitfalls. Um, paid hosting is, as it, said, as it sounds, is paid hosting where you actually pay for um, your your website to be hosted the um, the advantage of having paid hosting is that you have a lot of customizability and a lot of features and uh, systems at your disposal when you do so he, here's a paid hosting service called HostGator it's a it's a great service I recommend it um, and there's also another one here called Bluehost um, both of these I have had experience with and they're both great, great services and offer hosting at, a, at, a, at an affordable price. Um, and they have all everything that you need to build a very robust, uh, very interactive, very secure website. They're going to give you all the options that you need to have the website that you want, regardless of what type of website that may be. This is going to provide the technology you need behind it. Um, the reason why I wanted to talk about paid hosting before or before I talk to you about those pitfalls is because you need to understand the difference between the two. Free web hosting is very limited in what it'll do. You don't have, for, so for example, at first they'll just assign you a domain, and I'll go over domains, but domains is that website address um, of your website. So when you create a free web uh, rub website, you're just going to be assigned a domain. Maybe you can customize it a little bit, but for the most part it's going to be assigned to you, and that's it. You won't you won't be, you won't be able to get the name that you want necessarily because there's going to be some sort of tag on it that says Wix.com um, or something similar. Same with Weebly. Same with Weebly. So free hosting services usually don't give you the customize customizability to the point where you can buy your domain and use just your domain. Um, however, you can for an upgrade. So with with the premium stuff in, at Wix, you can actually buy an a, the actual uh, domain that you want. And so it, it's not really free at that point. Um, it becomes just a normal, sort of like a normal hosting plan. 
and usually um, unfortunately they usually charge you a little bit more to host your domain on these free sites than if you got a paid host which is pretty interesting that's one way that they make um, that's one of the way that they make money off of you so these free ones tend to sometimes actually cost more money when you try to get more customized uh, that's one of the issues it's one of the pitfalls of free hosting is they are limited you soon reach those limits very quickly uh, especially with a business you know when you start to pick your your customized domain uh, your customized website address um, and and want to add some more features into your website add more support um, you start to reach those limits on a free web do or web hosting service and then you realize wow I'm trapped in here I have all my content I have my design everything up here and now I'm trapped unless I go and buy these premium upgrades and even with the premium upgrades there's still limitations for example Wix, I cannot go into Wix as a web developer and um, and install certain technologies. Like there is no normal back end to Wix. There's only a, an editor and what they decide to put in that editor. And so you're very limited, especially your web developers are very limited to going in here and customizing it. So that's some of the pitfalls of Wix and Weebly is there is limitations on how you can uh, is when you start to grow as a business how far that website's actually going to be able to take you um, and so what happens most of the time is people will will get a free domain like Wix or a free website like Wix and then later on they realize okay I need to get a, a paid hosting service because there's limitations but then trying to transfer their website over from Wix to a paid domain or paid hosting service is very difficult and in fact sometimes it requires you to copy and paste all your content over because it's just not a smooth transition and so I recommend that you start out with a paid hosting service I recommend it um, because it, you're just going to be starting off on the right foot from the get-go and that's what I'm dedicated to do I'm dedicated to helping entrepreneurs start off on the right foot when it comes to getting their business online so I recommend that you listen to this little piece of wisdom get a paid hosting service if you know you need a website don't go with the free stuff just dive in and get a paid hosting service and get your first website get set up on that okay so that's what I recommend because the pitfalls that exist along the way with free hosting are just there's just far too many and they're just too hard to hurdle um, when you're trying to grow a business so Anyways, hopefully this information was helpful. Hopefully you understand what a web host is and what to, what you need to do to go out and get one, whether it be free or paid, what's best for you. Um, once again, this is Brady Kelly with Get Tech Savvy at GetTechSavvyNow.com.